Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today, I have a special video for you. I have another review of a Power Rangers Legacy item. So, the Legacy toy line, if you don't know, is made for collectors. You're, they, they're re-releasing these Mighty Morphin items, but with new molds, die-cast metal, super high quality. These are really, really cool. These are some of my favorite Power Rangers toys ever. They're so, so good. And so, what they've released so far as part of the toy line is the Legacy Power Morpher. I mean, come on, everybody remembers, right? Like, it's Morphin time! And the coin was not supposed to fly out of there. <laughs> I think I got a little over enthusiastic with it. Let's try that again. It's Morphin time! There we go. Um, but yeah, this thing is one of my absolute favorites. It's so nostalgic. It's amazing. And then they also released the Green Ranger version right there that was gold, which was great, and the White Ranger, which kind of had them both. And then... Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie, right? So there was the movie with Ivan Ooze and all that. So they released a special movie edition of the Morpher, but this was for Tommy. So we have the Falcon Zord right there. Uh, so it has like the white stickers and everything. Um, and uh, really, really cool. Or actually, well, not really stickers. It's kind of on there. But anyways, um, the uh, really, really awesome. And it just looks great. And so what they decided to do is release more of these movie Morphers. So they released three of them. We have... The Red Ranger right here. We have the Blue Ranger and the Pink Ranger. So no word yet on if they're going to release the Black and Yellow Ranger ones. I hope so because it would kind of suck to not have a full collection. You know what I mean? But I love the Lexi Power Morpher so much I decided to at least get all these different colors that they've released so far. So uh, real quick I want to take a look at the packaging and then I'm going to do an unboxing and then up close detailed review very much the same packaging as the one for the White Ranger. I don't think I still have the box anywhere for it, but basically the same thing except there's a lot of red around now. So you have the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie logo. There's the movie Ranger suits right there. There's the Morpher. It says Legacy Power Morpher, although it's in red, and it says Red Ranger Edition right there. So it comes with the T-Rex uh, coin right there as well as this, uh, the coin that's got like a whole bunch of different dinosaurs right in here, which looks pretty cool. So it is a premium die cast, as it says. The side of the box has got like the bio for the Red Ranger, so it's uh, in a couple different languages and stuff, but uh, there's the bio right there in case you're interested. And then here it talks about the uh, actual power morpher uh, as well, so you can kind of see like the story of uh, well, actually, the movie in general. And then the back also says, again, two die-cast coins right here. Um, although, you know, the, the one thing about it that, that is that does kind of suck is the uh, in the movie, they got the new Zords, right? Like the Ape Zord and, you know, all, all of them. So, like, it doesn't look like it comes with that coin, which is kind of disappointing because we already have a T-Rex coin. Um... I mean, the other coin is pretty neat that has all the different dinosaurs, but if all of these have it, I'm going to have three of them. So I'd rather, I really wish it would have come, come up with the, the, uh, the ape sword, just like how this one has the falcon, right? Because this came with the tiger sword coin and the falcon sword coin, but these ones don't. Like, what's up with that? Uh, real quick, here's a look at the box for the other ones. Here's the pink ranger one. Again, same thing, except there's a pterodactyl coin. Pink ranger bio right there. Uh, focus the camera... Pink Ranger bio, okay, the story, same thing, there's the back of the box, and then same with the Blue Ranger, um, same thing there, here's the, the bio for the Blue Ranger, the back of the box, so all of that's the same, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed already about that fact, makes me wonder how they're going to release those coins, or if they're ever going to release them, I hope so. Uh, but I want to do a little unboxing here, so let's just kind of jump right into this. Um, open up the Red Ranger one first. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna display all these. I have all the regular. I bought uh, I bought like five of the Power Morpher so that I could display them all with the different dinosaurs, and then I have the Green Ranger one. So I have that on display in my room, but uh, I don't I don't know. I guess I'm not gonna display these ones yet because we don't have all the colors. Maybe if they release all the colors. Then I will. We'll see. Um, anyways, you got these standard uh, instructions here. I'm not going to waste much time with that, but uh, 
we all know how it works. Basically, same thing. Um, no surprise there. Uh, so the one neat thing is the holster that it comes in is the color of the actual morpher. So we have a red holster right there, uh, which is pretty cool. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Cut away the tape. All right. So we do have the T-Rex coin right here. And the, uh, the immediate, I'll show you there's a difference. The one that came with the regular Power Morpher has got like a weathered look, it's darker. And this one is a nice bright gold. So that, that is one nice thing that uh, it is a little different. It's not the exact same coin. So you can kind of pick and choose, you know, how you want it. So I'll show you that up close. Uh, and then here is the other coin as well. I, I don't remember if there's a name for it, but this one has the five different dinos on it right there. I just dropped the morpher. Um, I'll show you this up close again in a second, but hold on, let me get, uh, pick this up. Okay. And then we have the actual morpher right here. Uh, really, really shiny. I love the, uh, you guys know how much I love shiny stuff. Uh, but this just looks really, really shiny. It's really cool. Uh, the back is all silver, um, which is the same exact back as the, the White Ranger one. Um, so yeah, really cool. Um, let's put the coin in here. Again, I'll show all this, all this stuff up close in a second. But just to give you an idea, there's that and then the... Okay, so it is like version two of the Legacy Morpher where once you start the theme song, you can let go of the button. Because remember the very first version of Legacy Morpher, you had to keep holding down the button. Uh, but since then, all uh, morphers since then have, have not had that issue. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty interesting. So I'll show you that up close. And then the, the holster as well, um, you can either display it like this in the holster, or you can flip it like that. So it, it, it does look pretty cool. I do dig that, definitely. Um, so that's pretty neat. So we'll, we'll take a, a closer look at that in a second. Um, okay. Let's move on. Let's do the Pink Ranger next. Just real quick. I, I like to do with the Legacy items, I like to kind of get my first impressions opening them because they're just extra special, you know? Um, all right. Too many boxes and too much stuff here. Right, here's the holster for the Pink Ranger. So definitely a pretty solid looking pink right there. So there's that. the pterodactyl um, and uh, again I'll show you up close looks of all this you have the other coin for the five dinosaurs and then the morpher itself of course right here pretty neat right there so with the pterodactyl coin inside ta-da there it is Morphin' time. Pretty sweet. Yeah, definitely, definitely really cool. Okay, and then last but not least, the Blue Ranger. I, I really do like the, the feel of these morphers. The die cast metal makes them nice and heavy and they, just, they look like really solid items, you know? Um, and that's, that's what I appreciate about it, definitely. Okay. So here's the holster for the Blue Ranger, a nice solid blue color, which is pretty great. And then of course we have all the, uh, we have the other coins. So here's the, uh, here's the Triceratops right there. Oh, I can't even see it that well. I'll show it to you up close in a second. Got the other dinosaur coin and then the Morpher right here. Oh, I love the blue. Blue is my favorite color, um, and this just looks really nice on here. Put in the Triceratops coin right there. That's pretty slick. I like it. Bam! Yeah, there we go. I like it. Definitely, yeah, definitely pretty cool. All right, so 
Uh, I've got a bunch of Legacy Morphers right here. So uh, without further ado, let's just kind of take a close look at all of these Morphers. All right, so here are the Legacy Movie Morphers up close right here. Um, pretty sweet looking. Let's get these boxes out the way and just kind of focus right on... Oops, sorry, I just knocked my camera when I was moving the boxes out the way. Okay, so here they are right here, and they look pretty sweet. Um, let's take a look at them uh, one by one. So let's grab the, uh, the Red Ranger one right here. So this is what it looks like with the holster. Um, so one one version of the holster right here, so you can have it in there. Uh, and I think it looks really cool. I, I like the colored holsters. I think um, it's uh, it just really adds to the overall colored look with these morphers, which is nice. Because otherwise, the morphers themselves, you know, they're really cool, and I do like the shininess of it, but I prefer the regular morphers because these just feel like they're missing something a little bit. Um, so if I take this out of here, well, first of all, real quick, this is the other way that it looks, um, which also looks pretty neat, you know, the red... Uh, is shown right here, which definitely blends in there, of course. Um, pretty cool, definitely. Um, but basically what I was saying is the uh, the Morpher itself has a much more plain design to it. So comparing it to the regular Red Ranger Morpher, this just looks better in my opinion. I think the the, the Power Rangers part is, is the, the important piece because here it just looks like it's missing something. Um, now I get that they're kind of just making it more simplistic look and shinier and that sort of thing, but at the same time I just, I prefer the regular look because of the Power Rangers piece there. And I think the, um, the having the different contrasting colors uh, is nice. Now this is just red because this is always red and that's red there, whereas, you know, here you do have contrasting colors, so it's a little better here. But, you know, this one is kind of plain looking a little bit, but it still looks really cool, just you know, preference wise. Um, anyway, so the other thing that I want to kind of point out, so here's the back for comparison's sake. So on the movie morphers, you have a silver back uh, and they're red little circles there. Um, and the regular Power Morpher has five different Ranger colors there and at the bottom, whereas the movie morphers just have the solid color right there. Um, so that is kind of the, the main distinction there. Uh, when you open it up, the, the insides are, you know, the the translucent red, which is the same on both, so that part's the same. Um, for other, the other comparison that I want to do is with the Legacy White Ranger Movie Morpher, which has already been released right here. Um, so as you can see, same kind of design where you have the red ring around it, uh, but then the color of the actual Ranger, where in this case it's white, in this case it's red. And the back is the exact same, except this had the white line and the red line corresponding to the ranger, but these are silver here. So I like the consistency. I like the fact that they have the, uh, you know, you take all the movie morphers, they fit in perfectly together. You take these two, I mean, they definitely kind of fit in, you know, because they're the same design, but they do have a different look to it because one's from the show, one's from the movie. So it kind of makes sense. Um, anyways, oh, the other thing that I want to compare is the actual power coins. So let's take this out. Uh, so if you don't remember, if you push the button, this is how you eject the, uh, the coin right there. So let's do that. So, as you can see, this is the T-Rex that comes with the regular Power Morpher right here. Uh, looks really cool, but it's got like a darker, more weathered look to it. Uh, the back says Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, but that is the one that comes with the regular Morpher. This is the one that comes with the movie uh, Morpher. So it's a much cleaner, shinier uh, gold... T-Rex, basically. Same exact design, except this is like, this is like when they're first handed the power coins, this is what they look like after multiple battles of fighting the villains and, you know, this thing is all worn out, this is what it looks like. So they both have their perks, you know, they, it also says Mighty Morphin Power on the back, exact same, although it's shiny gold. So they both look really cool. Um, and I like that now you have two different versions of it. So if I wanted to take the nice shiny golden one and put it in the regular Power Morpher, I can. And it looks great. I mean, it fits in perfectly. Uh, it works great. And yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. And, and same thing, you know, if I wanted to, to swap the weathered one with the movie morpher, uh, definitely makes it look more interesting, which is, which is really kind of cool. So I like that you can, you know, interchange those definitely. Um, but just so you're aware of that difference, basically, um, between the, the types of power coins that you get in there. Okay, so there's that. Now, uh, the other thing that you can do, so the handle goes down, of course, as you can see, you push the button on, uh, oops, sorry, this side, and it pops open, ta-da, like that. So the on-off switch is on the back right here. So if I turn it on, it does the familiar communicator beep, I'll turn it off, 
and open it and then do it on and you'll see the lights blinking here. So let's turn it on. Pretty cool, uh, pretty sweet. Then the other thing you can do is if you hold down the button, if I just let go now, it's not gonna play it. You have to hold it down until the theme song plays. So if I hold it down again and let go, it will cycle through the whole theme song. I'll play it once just so you have it and you can see it. Um, but it cycles through the whole theme song. Real quick, let me play it on the uh, on this morpher. I just want to see if it's the volume is the same. Oops. I'm trying to hear it. Sounds about the same to me. It, it's harder for you guys to hear it kind of, but in person, I would say it sounds very much the same volume wise. Pretty epic. Um, I think it looks really cool. Um, it's, it's nice to have the theme song for this item here. I think it makes sense. Um, so yeah, definitely pretty sweet. And then, done. So that is pretty neat and I, and I do dig that definitely. Um, so pretty cool, I, I like it. Um, I'll turn that off. So there is the Red Ranger one. The rest are gonna be pretty much the exact same, just different colors. So here's the Blue Ranger um, with the blue holster as well. Um, oops, this one's, there we go, now it's clicked in. Um, so definitely looks pretty cool. We'll flip this out. This one's got a little tight fit, there we go. Pretty neat. I, blue is my favorite color, as I said before, and I love the combination of blue and silver. So I think this in particular also looks really cool because um, you have the blue up top and down bottom there and the silver right there, which definitely looks really nice. Um, okay. And here it is. Yeah, a really, really nice combo. Just the, because now you have contrasting colors with the red and blue. Um, I don't have the other, the T-Rex and the Pterodactyl coin on hand to compare. Um, it's up in my room, but um, your same difference where you have the weathered look on the regular morphers and then the shiny gold on here. Um, so to keep that in mind, but yeah, really, really nice looking. Definitely like they look like premium items, which is great. I mean, that's what it's supposed to look like, right? Um, so there it is right there. And again, you can pop out the coin. Um, same thing on the back there. Turn it on. I'm not gonna play the whole theme song or anything, but just so you can see, you know, what it looks like with the lights on, just like that. Um, just wanted to show that at least. Pretty cool, pretty cool, definitely, I, I, I do dig it. Um, and then the pink ranger, I'm glad that we actually have something for one of the female rangers, because um, we don't usually get that, so that's really, really cool. Um, so I, you know, I like the pink, nice bold pink uh, that they used right there, which looks great, um, so that's really cool. I really hope they release the ones for the black and yellow rangers so that way we can have the full set. I think that would look great. Um, but yeah, again, you know, just, just looks really nice overall uh, what they did here. Um, the, uh, oh no, never mind. I was going to say that almost looks pinkish, but it, it's red. It's the same red that all the other morphers have. Um, okay. And then, uh, so here it is right here. And again, pterodactyl, shiny gold. Pretty cool. There it is. Turn it on. So yeah, pretty neat overall. Definitely uh, really, really cool. Now, the other thing remember that these come with are the Dinozord coins, like the ones that are, you know, they all come with the same one. Um, so I'll just show you one of them here. So this is the combination coin, uh, as you can see, uh, and it's got the five Dinozords on it. So there's the T-Rex. Sabertooth Tiger in the corner there, the Mastodon, Triceratops, Pterodactyl. Really, really cool. The back says Mighty Morphin Power Rangers again. So, um, yeah, definitely kind of neat to have. It doesn't matter whatever coin you put or don't put, the sounds and stuff are all the exact same. So that makes no difference. It's more for display purposes. So if I kind of take out all of the, uh, the individual Dinosaur coins here and I just place this into all of them, you can kind of see what they look like. Just give me one second. Let's do that. Okay, move those out the way. And now you have these three right here. 
So in case you wanted to see, you know, what it looked like, you know, these are what they look like with that special coin in there. And it, it looks okay. You know, to me, to be honest, it's too much in this design. Like at a glance, nobody's gonna know what that is until you really look up close to it. Whereas like you look at this, like that's a T-Rex. You can see that, you know? This is too complicated of a design, of a design for me personally. Um, I definitely prefer the uh, the individual dinosaur coins um, to the uh, to this one, but I guess it's nice to have. I, I I'm just disappointed that they didn't release the the other Zord coins. You know, like the for the Red Ranger it would have been the ape, for the Blue Ranger it would have been the wolf, and the Pink Ranger is the crane. Like though, like they should have released those, and and I'm really disappointed that they didn't. And I hope that it's some some way somehow they're going to release those coins. Hopefully, because. You know, like, how does it doesn't fit in with the, the Falcon now? Like, I have the Tiger Zord coin it came with. You know, like, this one came with uh, the shiny um, Tiger Zord coin. So that fits in. Sure, that's great. But what about the actual, you know, um, what about the the new Zords, right? Like, that's what they got in the movie, you know? And that that's how, like, the Falcon is, is how I like to display this one. Um, because it's just, that's how, it's unique. Um, so I, I really, really wish they would have released those coins. Um, also, just real quick, just for the heck of it, I'll show you uh, this morpher with uh, that coin right there. So in case you wanted to see what that looked like. So that's interesting looking. Um, and then uh, I also have the... Uh, the gold ranger one or not the gold ranger one sorry the gold morpher for the green ranger um with that coin so this is a nice shiny gold so it kind of fits in a little more there but anyways um so i do like again the mix and matching of of all that but uh yeah so that's pretty much it guys i mean that really sums up uh this review i think you know, if you're a fan of uh, the movie Morphers or, or just the Power Morphers in general or anything, if, if you've been collecting these items, um, I think these are definitely worth collecting. Um, they, you know, they look really cool and you do get the shinier gold versions of the coins, uh, which is definitely nice as well. Um, but if you, if you just wanted one or two Morphers, I personally would recommend the regular Morphers over these. Now, if you just wanted one movie Morpher, Personally, I would recommend this one because this one actually has the Falcon coin. It's a unique coin, uh, and these ones don't have their news words. Um, so personally, you know, if you're if you're being strict about which morphers you want, I would probably not go for one of these. But that being said, I still like them and I still think they're pretty neat. And I mean, like you know, these things just they're nice and shiny and they're fun to spin around on here. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I dig it, and I hope that they release yellow and black Ranger ones as well. Anyways, that's that. Um, I could go on and on about these things because I really love the Legacy toy line. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of these movie morphers, and please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this review. I do have more reviews on the way, including the legacy uh, black and gold dragon sword as well. So I know a lot of people have been asking about that. I do have that and I will be reviewing that soon as well. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I wanted to end this video by talking about the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comics from Boom Studios. So in honor of this Mighty Morphin related review, we have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comics. So thank you to Boom Studios for sending me these. These things are amazing. I have all of them except for issue number one. I still need to get it, but I have issue number zero, uh, which is pretty cool. And then, like, check this out, man. Here's issue number two. Like, look at some of the artwork, even just on the cover. Really, really amazing. Issue number three, which is a, a recent release. And also, they've they've released um, uh, the Pink Ranger comic book series. There's a whole series, six issues, on just the Pink Ranger. Like, that is just incredible. So, um, I've read some of these already so far, and they're, they're pretty amazing. So definitely check these out at your local comic book store. Uh, the artwork is incredible, and for that alone, these are worth picking up. So definitely check these out. Uh, they're from Boom Studios, and they're for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's the regular series of comics and the new Pink Ranger line as well, which is definitely really, really cool. Uh, so anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Thank you, and I will see you later.